In this one, we're just going to have a high level look at what it is that we're going to create and what we're going to test. So before we start that, let's think about our objective. Our objective here is to learn as much about testing and feature testing in Laravel as possible. And so we don't really want to get bogged down in writing tons and tons of application code. What we want to do is get into writing lots of tests. So the scenario on the surface looks quite simple. However, there are going to be quite a few uh, cases to test here. So it's going to be a very simple um, sort of application that we build, but which does quite a lot of stuff in the background. And so what does it do? Well, it's a simple sign up. So for example, here, I'm just going to sign up to a newsletter, subscribe to a newsletter or a mailing list, hit subscribe, something happens in the background and it tells me that I'm on the list. What's actually happened there in the background is that I've been added to a database. I have been sent a welcome email. I have been subscribed to a third party mailing system. And also I've then been redirected to this thank you page. And so quite a few things going on there and that we need to test all of those things to make sure that it all is working correctly. So on top of those main components there and those main events which happen, we're also validating the email. And if we were to add an email which isn't valid, then we want to re-render that page. So there's another case that we're gonna test. And also we just want to test that these pages, when we land on them, contain the content that we expect them to see. So even more, uh, cases to test there. So even though it looks like a very simple scenario, in fact, there's quite a lot going on. And when it comes to testing, there's certainly a lot to test. So in this one, let's make a start just by adding those basic files or that basic first um, page that you saw here, which is just a box with a subscribe button. So first of all, let's look at that view itself. Laravel uses blade templates for views and inside of resources, views, subscribe. I've created one called create.blade.php. You don't need to type all of this out. Simply copy this from the lesson page into that location. So we'll just a reminder of where that is. In your project testing Laravel, you'll see resources then you'll see views. Inside of there, create a new one called subscribe, and then create uh, create.blade.php, and just add this exact content which you see attached to this lesson. Okay, so next of all, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to routes, and inside of web, we're going to add a couple of routes here, because I want to put a redirect in here as well. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple redirect so that when someone lands on the home page, they will always be redirected to this subscribe endpoint. And then what we want to do is add another get for that subscribe endpoint. So I'm going to say route get subscribe. And as the handler for that, we're going to have a create method on a subscription controller class, which does not yet exist. And we're gonna give our route a name, and that name will be subscribe.create. And so by giving your routes names, it's easy to just reference them if you want to do like redirect. So if you, within your code, you want to actually go to those routes and also you can use the names in the views. And also, if you're wondering about this name and this method name create, well, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a subscription and that will be a model which is modeled and has its own table in the database. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is copy that name and we are going to go to app, HTTP controllers, and in app HTTP controllers, gonna create a new class which will be subscription controller. So you create the exact same thing as what I've just created there. At the top of here, I'm going to declare my strict types. And what this means is that when I'm injecting a certain type, then it will not try and cast things like strings to integers or anything like that. It will make sure that anything which tries to be injected 
has or returned has the exact same type. Okay, and then finally what we need to do, if we look at our web.php, first of all, make sure we are using that subscription controller now that we've created it. So at the top here, you'll see that I'm using app HTTP controllers subscription controller and my yellow squiggly lines have gone. And what we want to do is have a create method which will return us our view. And if you remember where our view lived, it lived in resources, views, subscribe, create.blade.php. So how do we render that in our controller? The way that we do that is like so. So Laravel knows that our views are going to be inside of views. But then we need to tell it, well, this one is inside of subscribe and it's called create. So we don't need the dot blade dot PHP because that is the default for Laravel anyway. And we're using the dot syntax to reference this. So inside of the subscribe folder should be able to find a view called create dot blade dot PHP. Okay, now if you've got all of that in place, we should now be able to go and say PHP artisan serve and remember we put that redirect in there in our web.php so that when we go to the home page we should be redirected to this subscribe which means I should just be able to click on this link and indeed it does take me to this now some of the styling isn't quite right here so what we need to do is I'm going to open a separate terminal window here and I'm going to run npm run dev and what that should do is it should style my front end for me so that if I go back and refresh as you can see that looks different now the subscribe button is now blue and some of the font and everything has been sorted out and so what I'll do is I'll keep npm run dev running in this background window and then any changes that I make Laravel will pick up on that or Vite will pick up on that and it will make the changes for us but what I will say is that we're not going to be doing any front end really we have done all of our front end or 90% of it we also need a thank you page to go with this where we'll get redirected to but we're not going to be touching much front end at all so now that we've got our initial code in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take a strategy of testing as we go. So as we add parts of the code, we're going to make sure that we have tests for these rather than leaving all the testing to the end. So we're building it all up piece by piece. So what can we test in the next one? What we'll do, we'll just do a simple test, which is going to check that when we visit that page, it actually shows the content that we expect to see on that page.